The I team is uncovering a safety warning for people living in condos and apartment buildings. The fire sprinkler system may be defective and you could be in danger. I team investigator Jared Holbrook taking action explaining what a new billion dollar lawsuit means for you. If a sprinkler pipe were to actually burst, you're going to be getting a lot of water. That's exactly what happened at two high rise condo complexes in South Florida. A fire sprinkler led to millions of dollars in damages and residents forced out of their homes. In these cases, Florida attorney Irvin Gonzalez says it's the manufacturer's fault, and buildings across the country, including Tampa Bay, are at risk. It is a major life safety issue. Life safety issue because Gonzalez says plastic pipes commonly used in residential fire sprinklers can break or leak and reduce water pressure in a fire emergency. You see this orange C PVC pipe? Gonzalez says the resin in the plastic pipe breaks down and fails when it comes in contact with common building products like bonding agents and anti-corrosive materials and metal pipes that lead into the CPVC system. It migrates into the plastic pipe. Gonzalez filed a class action lawsuit against several makers of the CPVC pipe used in fire sprinkler systems. He claims the pipes are defective and endanger the lives of thousands. So far, he has clients in Florida, Texas, Arizona, Kansas, Mississippi, and Alabama. We've hired a number of uh, nationally recognized experts, engineers, chemists, material experts, who have gone to the lab, tested this material, and have determined that it's defective, it's not suitable for what is being sold, it will fail. How widespread of a problem do you think this is? This is a national issue. Typically can be suspended, it'll be on brackets. Tampa's Fire Marshal Charles Owens says the CPVC pipe in question is in about 99% of the condos and apartments in our area. Oh, a lot. And where they can use it, they always use it. Marshal Owens says it's been legal to use for years and is a cheaper alternative to steel pipe. His team of investigators tests systems frequently and keep a list of materials that are not compatible with CPVC. I've never seen a failure in my 20-year tenure in the fire department. Um, has it happened? I'm sure it probably has. It's not a question of if it will happen, it's a question of when it will happen. According to Gonzalez, the companies in question knew the material was defective but kept selling it anyway. In the lawsuit, he states emails from Lubrizol, one of the largest manufacturers of the CPVC, show they tested the product as early as 2005 and knew it was defective. He claims their acts, quote, constitute a conspiracy. It's a classic case of putting profits over people and sales over safety. Lubrizol, one of the leading manufacturers of the CPVC pipe, sent us this statement. It is the company's policy not to comment on pending litigation. Lubrizol has not concealed information and denies the allegations in the lawsuit. Gonzalez says sprinkler systems installed from 2005 to 2012 are most at risk. Now, we found a similar lawsuit in Orlando stating CPVC pipes and fire sprinkler systems are defective and unreasonably dangerous. Now, experts say if you notice small drops of water beating up on your ceiling, you should have a professional check it out. Even if they have to cut into the ceiling like this to see, it could save you more money and a headache in the long run. Now, we're posting written statements from the companies who responded on our website. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you.